Well, it's a very special day today. It came in. The wing's here. I'll unbox it, let you guys see what's in there. I think you know everything that's in there, but it's super exciting. Just got done talking to the airport, got a meeting tomorrow to be able to go over there and start kiting. And he's gonna show me where and all that. And kind of, kind of intimidated by it because I'm such a newbie. I don't know the language. I don't know anything over there yet, except for what I've learned on YouTube and books. So this will be step, well, it's really step seven, but looks like step two. So it's an awesome day. All right, let's unbox this thing. Um, I ordered it from Aviator PPG. They said it was going to take a lot longer because everything's really, um, you know, busy and all. Uh, probably because of the videos and all that and the popularity they said is really exploding. Which uh, I totally believe. Um, what else? We ordered special colors. Uh, so there's a little surcharge for that. Um, I think that was about it. They just said it was going to take a lot longer. I ordered it on the 19th of last month and today's the 27th, so it really isn't a whole lot longer than what they what they were warning me about. So that's that's nice. It's a Mojo Power size large, which I don't know when you guys are saying how many meters they are. Is that projected or is that flat? So uh, projected somewhere around 28 point one or two or three and um, no excuse me that's flat projected I like the numbers easier to remember is 24 but it's real I imagine this is going to be really floaty and uh, there it is this. I see they put a piece of cardboard in the top in case somebody's going at it with a razor blade hopefully they don't cut things Nice. And there's some warning stickers here. Oh, it says if it's broken or damaged to open it in front of the carrier, which is almost impossible. That's one thing I would do. If, you, if anybody's ever using FedEx, have it delivered to your place of business where you work during the day because you know you don't get you have to go down to they won't drop things off at your house, most, almost always a signature, which is a plus. But some of the other ground carriers, you know, drop it off at your house and leave it in your garage for you. FedEx won't. My son works for FedEx, and they won't. I have no pulse. Send it with the easy bag. And there's a lot of easy bag here. This thing must be wrapped up really tight. Ah, oh, unbelievable. This is so great. Man, it's huge. I take it once I, uh, once I inflate it, it's gonna get a lot bigger. Okay, there's a drawstring at this end. Let's figure that all out later. I take it this bag lays out nice and flat from what I've seen online. Oh, and then it's got its own, I guess, a stuff sack. It's awful small for a stuff sack. So, I don't see any riser bags or anything that must be in the other bag. All right, let's get rid of the easy sack. Yeah, that's, that's your stuff bag. That thing's huge. This is probably for shipping when you're really fold up small. No warning labels, don't pull this, nothing like that. Oh, love it. I didn't want to get white on the back, but because that's hopefully what's gonna hit the ground first. But I just couldn't, I just like that look so much better. There's the wing. And you get your speed bar, which is very nice. It's uh, protected with a coating, but it actually says ozone, and it's uh, it's a fiberglass type bar. 
it looks like a fiberglass bar with a with a nylon coating in this sweet you catch your heel on to get to it it's really nice I thought it would look a lot cheesier than that to tell you the truth of course stickers can opener beer opener must have keychain um, and your your manual and your travel bag very small Just called the ozone inner bag. I suppose you could carry this with you when you're uh, when you're paramotoring in one of your side pockets in case you, you don't you have to get it in something that would be going with me. And because of the because of the uh, nylon rods, I think they're made of nylon, in the nose to help it keep its shape. Uh, it has to be folded a special way. It doesn't, you don't just yank these into the uh, rosette and put them in the bag. Not. Today is uh, the day this uh, is extremely special and uh, joyous, but someday this will probably be uh, a source of annoyance when I screw up big time. I'll injure it. Oh, no. All right. They, they do have them tied together. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. Let's see if the magnets do have a snap. Yeah, they do. Oh, they snap on there good. I thought that was just uh, good salesmanship, but no. Quite solid. Nice. And the uh, rear trim not much at all, which on an A glider it probably wouldn't be. And then it has D rings. I don't know how you lock these yet. I got a, something about it in the handbook I was reading that said that you have to lock those. But that is not much much movement, which is good. You don't get yourself in trouble when you're a newbie. And they do have the brake set at the top. For probably a lower hang point, and that's what mine's going to be. So I'll, of course, leave these alone. Split A's, outside A's, inside A's, B's, with the uh, acceleration setup. Very smooth. Man, I didn't picture that working that well. I really didn't. I. Everybody said roller bearings and stuff, and. They look so tiny. You thought they should be bigger, but they're not. They're uh, they're really nice. If you can see, this really is smooth, super slick. All right. Well, we're gonna kite it. The wind comes down a little bit, and uh, see. Just don't hook in. I'm probably just gonna kite it for the first time by hand, D's, well not D's, C's on this one, C's and A's and uh, steering and see how it goes. And uh, the wind comes down. I think it was, uh, it was 11 when I left work. So we'll have to check. First video of Dennis pulling up his wing. Pulls quite hard. He's trying to figure it out. But I found myself doing the thing wrong. Oh, he's stopping a minute. Of, I like Jacqueline. Yeah. Except I don't fly. That is not how you do it. I just work hard. Oh, that's supposed to be my job, isn't it? That's all right. I can't do my job and video at the same time. Here we go. Whoa. It's kind of windy today for his first try. Maybe it's good to video this and you can watch later and see what he, he's doing incorrectly. Don't film yet. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, trimmers are in. Don't film yet. Trimmers are in. This is good. For past. 
posterity. Big dip right there, be careful. Yeah, you're getting kind of mean. I think it's getting the hang of it. This thing is very rigid. Well, that was the first time ever kiting. It's harder than it looks. I think it's a little too windy for us, thanks to Janny helping me tip that thing back over a few times. And uh, I'm really sweating. That, that was fun. I, I, I can't wait to go back and see what I did wrong. <laughs>